Hey you all, I wanted to give you a few things that you can eat while on your 30 day vegan challenge or just as a vegan in general, a new vegan, you know. So a few things, just staple items to have in your kitchen just to kind of help you get through the process and nothing is really that expensive at all. You do not have to spend all this money to eat healthy. Um, but sometimes I know like just like convenience is expensive. So frozen foods of course are going to be a lot more expensive. Um, but let me just get right into it. So first things first is like canned goods. So what I always make sure that I have on hand are garbanzo beans or chickpeas and also black beans which I ran out of black beans. I don't know how the heck I ran out of them but I ran out of black beans. But canned garbanzo beans or chickpeas and black beans. So with these um, I love to make uh, falafel which I do have a video on that. Basically it's like it's a patty with uh, herbs and spices and it's really good. It's a bean patty and it's like you fry it and it's just so good. Um, or you can bake it and make a sandwich out of it or a salad all that. I do have a video it's vlogmas day 7 is the recipe that I have. Uh, for that but yeah you can do chilies with these you can make hummus um, you can add them to soups you can drain off the liquid and you can use a liquid which is called agua fava agua fava I believe you can use that um, in place of eggs so the liquid from just from chickpeas not from black beans but with chickpeas the liquid from that you use three tablespoons for one egg two tablespoons if the recipe uh, calls for egg whites and then four tablespoons if it calls for a large egg and you can leave that liquid in your fridge you know covered up and sealed for a few days and it works really well and when you're baking something or when you have a recipe that calls for an egg it works really really good so has two purposes and then also um, protein I like I like to add this because it's a nice amount of protein you can add it to salads as well so um, something else that I just recently made sure that I keep on hand is jackfruit make sure you get the jackfruit that's in brine or in water if you get it in syrup then it's not gonna be any good so basically with this you just drain it and you uh, shred up the jackfruit just break it apart let it all drain out you can put you can season it put it in your oven for a little bit and um, then you can put sauce over it like one time I used enchilada sauce I used uh, barbecue sauce I used teriyaki sauce Pretty much anything is going to take that flavor and it's going to have like a nice like shredded pork type of uh, texture to it. It's really good, quick and easy and then you usually have like enough for the next day. So that's really good and it's quick to make and it has a nice taste. You could add that, uh, I like to make taco salads, you can add it to, um, let's see, you can add it on top of just a plain salad, you can make a wrap out of it, you can put it on top of rice, eat it with vegetables, that type of deal. It's just really, really good. Next thing I love to keep on hand is crushed tomatoes. I make my own tomato sauce. So I just use this with garlic, some basil, and I don't use fresh basil because sometimes it goes too fast. What I like to use instead is these. It's a frozen chopped ba basil, and I get them from Trader Joe's. So usually I shop at Trader Joe's or Aldi. That's it. I don't do anything too expensive. Um, so that's that. Something else I like to keep in my fridge is frozen vegetables. So I love frozen corn. Get mine from Aldi's, $1 a bag. I like to take the corn, thaw it out, mix it with um, black beans and some peppers and onions and it's so freaking good. I love that. Over rice, you can have that in like a taco salad, burritos, um, just eat it by itself, it's good. If you have some bananas and they're starting to get a little too like ugh, i don't know if i'm gonna eat all these in time or they might be going bad freeze your bananas and you can um put them in your blender with some almond milk and you can make you like an ice cream like a banana ice cream it's really good and that goes into almond milk i love to get my almond milk from aldi to me they have the best almond milk now they also have coconut milk which i haven't tried yet and they have almond milk um sweetened unsweetened they have also chocolate almond milk too which i'm not into chocolate milk but i think if you're into it it'd probably be really really good but i love their brand i usually get two of these each trip i go because i love to eat cereal and i just love milk in general like i like almond milk i add it to um Pretty much anything my coffee all that good stuff so that's that and then speaking of coffee if you're a coffee drinker 
you should definitely try out Trader Joe's soy creamer. This works really good. If you want to just give it a try, go up to Trader Joe's and like, um, you know how they always have coffee? Go there and then they have this there as well. You can give it a try there. It's, it has that nice like thickness, I would say, of like a half and half and it has that creaminess to it. It's really good and it's not that expensive. I think this is like $2. So if you're into coffee, if you're a coffee drinker, this is for you. Something else I would say have on hand, um, especially during these colder months. So as I'm filming this video, it's January. And um, I like to keep frozen fruit because I make smoothies. Um, or you can thaw them out and make like uh, smoothie bowls. Uh, sometimes I'll take, but I have a banana split, a healthy banana split recipe. And I use frozen berries for that. Something else I like to have on hand during the cold months or just in general if you're really busy and you know you don't want to have so much produce in your refrigerator and it goes bad. I like to get and they sell this at Trader Joe's. I did not get it at Trader Joe's. Um, this is pepper stir fry. So it has peppers and onions in here all frozen and these thaw really easily. Um, you can just throw them in your skillet and start cooking. Or um, they come like in strips like a stir fry or fajita type strips. What I do is if I want to chop up my vegetables, uh, chop these up, I'll just thaw, put them in the microwave for a little bit, then dice them up and use them that way in my recipes. But this was only $1. If you go to the store called Here Today, I'll do a vlog or vlog. I'll do a haul from that store if you all want. But they have like some really affordable vegetables and fruits and frozen foods like it's amazing um but i got it from this place called here today they also sell this at trader joe's though but this was just one dollar and it's a good way to not crowd up your fridge and like like i said if you kind of busy or you think you're not my, it might, you might be single you might not use up all these vegetables as quickly as you think you might keeping it frozen is good um and then also i got these frozen fruits from here today it was one dollar a bag so that's really really inexpensive Something else that I like to get. Now, you all, I opened up all this. I've been eating, y'all. So, nothing is fresh or nothing is, you know, brand new. But I love to get this from Trader Joe's. I mean, from Aldi. And I usually eat it with this that I get from Trader Joe's. These dumplings. These veggie dumplings. So, basically, I just put in some peanut oil. And I, I put these on there and let them kind of get a little brown. Then I add in my vegetables to it. And I add a little bit of water to cover it up so it can steam and cook all the way through. Very, very good. Tahini sauce from Trader Joe's. Um, you find it on the shelf. Um, so with this, you can make cheese. So if you take that along with nutritional yeast, and I can do a video for that as well to show you all how to make it. But basically you just saute. Um, I like to just put a little bit of oil in the skillet. I put garlic in there. I add this on top of it. Let that kind of just get toasty just a little bit. Then add the tahini. Then add the almond milk. Whisk it up until I get the consistency that I want. You can add some different flavors to it like onion and paprika and salt, pepper, that type of thing. And it gives you like a nice nutty type of like cheese sauce. So... Nutritional yeast, which is available at Trader Joe's now. I used to have to go all the way to Whole Foods and only get that and like spend all that time going there. Uh, but now they have it at Trader Joe's. So that's amazing. And that's really good. Also with the tahini, you can make yourself like a tahini sauce to go with your falafel. So I'll take this along with something else I want to add to the list. Some vegan mayo. I used to have to go to Whole Foods and get this as well, but they have it at Trader Joe's now and it's a lot cheaper. Um, so you can add this with the tahini and then I add like a little bit of like uh, some peppers to it. Um, sometimes I'll cut up some pickles and add that to it. And it just, it's a nice sauce to have with like fries or falafel. And this is like a huge staple in vegan and vegetarian foods tofu so i get mine from trader joe's this is the extra extra firm and i will show you all how to make uh, tofu the way i make tofu how i make this type of tofu as well as the softer tofu compared to this is softer so get that and like i said i'll do a video on how to make that very soon and then 
lemons having lemons in your house is really great you can add it to water um, you can make like warm lemon water in the morning to help to cleanse your palate and help to cleanse your body as well it's supposed to be detoxifying and also lemon is like a great flavor like you add it to a sauce that you're making or to vegetables this is a good way to add some type of flavor to your food without adding salt and then something I love because I really really love yogurt um, is this silk yogurt now I've tried the Tra Trader Joe's non dairy coconut yogurt they need to work on that form formula the consistency is like cottage cheese and it's supposed to be yogurt I don't know if I got a bad container I don't know I'm not gonna even try it again but it was pretty gross but this is nice and silky it has a nice taste to it it's really really good and like I said in the um, I made a video on like a healthy banana split you should definitely watch that video because I use this and bananas and berries and nuts it's so good so that and unfortunately they only have it in the flavor vanilla well they have like peach and um, I think like a raspberry maybe but I would love for them to one day come out with like just a plain one that way you can kind of use it in place of like sour cream that'd be really good so flax seeds so I really like to add flax seeds to smoothies because it adds fiber um, you can add it to say you're doing like right side to make my own tomato sauce you can add it to that as well just a way to add fiber into your diet which fiber really helps to clean your system out it doesn't have a lot of like nutritional value so per se um, it does have protein let's see it does have protein um, small very minuscule amount of fat small amount of calcium and iron so um but the thing with fiber is it like i said it cleans your system and it helps to add bulk to your poop okay which is really good because it helps to clean your system out which is very important so add that especially if, for whatever reason you are constipated i know nobody wants to hear about that on a video about food but hey y'all i'm a nurse like this is what i think about <laughs> so flaxseed and also you can make a flax egg so I'll put the actual like um, measurement down here somewhere for you all to see but you can make an egg out of this um, and put it in place of wherever an egg will be in a recipe you can make a flax egg and then something else that I love to keep on hand I hate not having it just because when I really want it I really need it and it's not really anything to sub substitute it is coconut milk so I like to get the full fat coconut milk I just got this from an Asian market by my house um, I love to use it in soup so if I make like a lentil soup like a red lentil soup or if I make curries coconut milk is really good also um, I've seen people make like icing out of it you can add it to remember I told you all about the bananas the frozen banana and the almond milk maybe add coconut milk to it and that'll be like a great like really creamy rich um, type of like ice cream type of deal so something else I love to add to my smoothies I don't know if it gives it a taste but I just for whatever reason I just like it I really like it in my smoothies I know it's weird but chia seeds and some people make chia pudding which I have not made yet I'm gonna try that throughout this 30 day vegan challenge I'm gonna make chia uh, pudding let me know if you tried it is it good I mean it just looks kind of like uh, weird but I'm gonna try it you know look this is the we have to try new things right um, but this has a good deal of protein as well two tablespoons give you six grams of protein uh, eight eight ugh. Eight, uh, eight percent iron four percent calcium so this is a great way to add protein to your diet as well so any time that you're making something just try to add a little bit of something that's going to give us some protein so if you're eating a salad put some beans on there or put some seeds or some nuts on there I like to keep something I've been really liking lately is uh, pumpkin seeds but I have pistachios which the very place the place to get it that's really inexpensive is Aldi like I know nuts can be expensive like something like this could cost you like five dollars which is pretty expensive but you're getting your protein you're getting some good fat in your diet and it's very very filling so um, I like pistachios sunflower seeds almonds all that good stuff add that to just anything if you're making a smoothie if you're eating um, some type of pasta sometimes like pine nuts are good on top of pasta uh, anything like that just add add protein to pretty much anything that you're eating and that way you know you have a good amount of protein in your diet and also protein is very filling it helps you feel like okay I'm I'm good I can get through the day I'm not famished you know I think that's it you all as far as the certain things that I think you should have in your vegan kitchen or vegetarian kitchen um, 
definitely other things like rice and pasta potatoes things like that i know a lot of what i showed you is like processed food or canned food or frozen food but i think one of the biggest hurdles that people have when it comes to eating a healthier diet is just the convenience like it's just not convenient we all live busy lives and we're all pretty much always hungry and you just want to come home and make something really quickly so that's why i showed you all stuff that's you know frozen or that's easier to cook or that's more convenient or that's easier for you to keep in your fridge and keep um to keep good you don't want everything you buy to go bad um so that's that i'm going to be posting more videos for you all recipes uh daily vlogs about what i'm eating all that good stuff so please stay tuned for that make sure that you subscribe like comment let me know what else you want to see you can follow me on instagram under stay forever true number one also you can watch my second channel your fave nurse b because i am your favorite nurse um it's basically a channel for anybody who wants to go into nursing or you think about um, going into being a CNA, CMT, all that good stuff. Or if you just want to learn more about me and my professional life. So that's that. I hope it was very helpful for you all. Be encouraged. Just do it for 30 days. Try it out. If you're already vegan or vegetarian, you know, let me know in the comment section, like, what do you like to keep in your kitchen? Like, what is a must have like it has to be in there you have to go buy it you do not run out of it like what is your must have and then also if you're not a vegan or vegetarian yet or if you're trying to go towards that diet let me know what's something that you like to have that's not vegan or vegetarian and then maybe i could try to come up with a video or find something in the store to kind of replace it that type of deal all right thanks for watching remembering all that you do stay forever true peace